All right, so now we're going up to uh, step number six, which is creating dashboards. Uh, so now what we want to do is make sure that we are organizing all this in a manner that you would present to a client. So we have a bunch of different spreadsheets and, and graphs. So what we want to do is create now a series of dashboards. I suggest that you create at the very least four different dashboards and the way you create a dashboard is you simply just click on the new dashboard over here on the side or you can just simply say new dashboard and that is um, the way you get it done now you can add a desktop or a tablet layout uh, for the time being let's make sure that we look at the layout and right now there's an 1000 by 800 that's a little small for me uh, in my opinion that is like a phone um, browser let's look at a bigger desktop I think it would be nicer to get a generic desktop or just call it full size right so this is a little nicer uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my return on sales right and I'm gonna do my return on assets here notice that I could um, could turn around and make this be um, for all of them but for now I'll just leave it like that uh, this is not very pretty I not at all in fact let's go ahead and switch this to um, hotels which is what I had so notice that I have the ability to present this data uh, together my return on assets but they would not be really good unless I put some kind of documentation on it right maybe maybe I need to put my data below this right how about that would that work nicer uh, maybe I need to bring this over here and you just got to play with the different layouts and then that can make a little more sense so let's see if I can do the return on sales on the left return on assets on the right and then I can see the data so that the users can see it and once again I want to make sure that this data um, is able to be seen by everybody. So one of the things that I can do is right click on this and say apply to all um, all using this data source or are all using related data sources. I'm going to use all using this data source and I should be able to eliminate the rest of them. So here we go. Apply to worksheets. Apply to worksheets. Um, and if I switch this to aircraft, then it should move all of them at the same time. And there's no need to, to have this anymore. So I can click this and click this and click this. And then now I can switch this back to hotels. And it should be able to change all of my data just for that. Um, I could hide this or leave it like that or bring them down to um, the bottom. I guess I could bring it down a little further. Um, I'm satisfied with the way it looks right here um, and I guess I should leave them right there all right so we're gonna do two at a time return on sales return on assets right now that we have that I'm gonna call this dashboard um, uh, dash one right I'm gonna move it all the way to the left because I don't want it to be confused with anything that I have here um, notice that I have to move all the way to the right all the way to the left by clicking on these buttons on the bottom be below I'm gonna create another worksheet or I'm sorry another dashboard and now I'm gonna bring the next the next worksheets that would be my return on equity my asset turn over right and then I'll bring the return on equity data below and asset turnover data below Notice that this is still working really nicely by just having one. It's looking at all of them. And I think that's okay. Um, we could have done this uh, one at a time instead. It's possible. Um, um, we could have done eight instead of four. Why don't we just do that? Let's switch this to just one. So let me get rid of this. And let's get rid of this as well. So notice that this might be a little better, not that much better. Um, I could have brought this over to the top and brought this to the bottom. Um, 
Let me just redo this complete thing. The reason why this looks so weird is because you have such a different type of data set right here, right? If you take a look at this, this is this is very different than the rest of the graphs. This is so pronounced that it it just doesn't let us see anything else in there. So I'll just I'll just keep doing this over and over. Uh, all of you will have very different data. Um, even if I did this, it would not be nice. So I guess the best thing to do is just to acknowledge that that's not going to be any nicer. Um, and I could bring this a little closer. And this should be extended a little further. Um, a little tiny further. And that's it. So this is going to be as good as it gets for the return on equity. So let me call this dash um I'm gonna move it to the left again I'm gonna move it all the way to the left dash two I'm gonna have a few more dashboards so now that I have this one two three I can do the asset turnover that's a beautiful graph um, I can put this one the, the data right here and just to make it a little better I can make it a little smaller. This looks a little nicer, right? As a turnover and the data. Let me see this. And I'm going to bring it over there. Dashboard number three. All right. So let's go back to number three. Dash two. Yeah, I can bring this a little lower too. This may make more sense for that equity data. Um, I wish this was a little longer. Um, I should get rid of that ticker from from here. So I could go to that return on equity data and I could get rid of that ticker because it's not necessary. And now that I go back, it should be updated. And so all of that data on the current ratio or return on equity, I could get rid of my ticker because I don't think it's necessary. Return on sales. All right. Perfect. This dashboard is asset turnover. Yeah, let's let's get rid of that ticker, please. Um, and that that makes it a little nicer. See, and sometimes you just have to adjust as you see the presentation. And this is still not wide enough, so let me move it a little further. And I'm going to be able to see this. Uh, that's going to be as good as it gets, you guys, uh, as far as this is concerned. I could change the layout to be a little bigger to a generic desktop and that may be a little better so let me go back here switch this to generic desktop for all of them again this is a little too wide so it looks kind of weird but that's just the way it's going to be um all right let's create another dashboard and all you're doing then is you're switching this over and over you're just bringing them uh, also you could do an automatic size so you let it be automatic um, and so that is another option where you just throw this stuff in there. Uh, notice that we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do the current ratio. Did we do the current ratio already? I think we did the current ratio already. Asset turnover. Now we do the current ratio. Okay. Um, so let me move it to the left. I do want you to then do the current ratio data. This is uh, kind of nice with such a big, um, big screen. I could do another graph right here and it looks super nice. And the total assets data could go below. See how beautiful that looks? It's perfect, I think, in my opinion, right? So that could be one of my dashboard, my current ratio compared to my total assets. Um, I could do another dashboard immediately um, and then just do my um, net income with my net income data, switch this to not fixed size, but an automatic, right? That is a little better. Why don't I just bring the shareholders equity and bring it in here and then bring the shareholders equity data right here. I would probably like to have shareholders equity with total assets um, and it would make a lot more sense instead of your net income, but it doesn't matter. 
at this point this makes sense to me i have several dashboards let me bring them to the left that's one thing i am going to ask you to do make sure that i am not having to go and look for these dashboards if i need to find them so let me go back here um and let me switch this to an automatic size and maybe i can eliminate this asset turnover let's see yeah yeah why don't we do that asset turnover and the asset turnover data over here i know i know so here we go asset return asset turnover return on equity let's make sure it's visible both of them are i think that looks nice to a certain degree so that's my first let me switch this to automatic yeah let me make this a little bigger and that's what you got to do you got to go back and your presentation style is never fixed it's not it's not always one answer if it's all you got to play with this to make sure it looks professional um and notice that this is be highlighting one area i don't want it to highlight at this point all right so that's dash number one with two measurements dash number two with two measurements as well dash number three i'm going to call it dash three so to just make it easier smart so this this is going to be deleted deleted boom now i have this dash number three and then dash number four and guess what those are all done and they look wonderfully well not that i have my dashboards then i'm done with this step follow the next video thank you